Okay, no intro today. Let's dive in right in. Hello, welcome back, my Royal Rogues. My name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Royal Rogue, and we have a few technical details uh, a few minutes ago, but uh, I think they are solved by now. That uh, you know that these things uh, that happened at the last minute, but I had to just kill the previous live stream and start a new one. But here we are, no intro live through YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. If you want. Close captions, subtitles, as I'm speaking. Remember to activate them on YouTube or uh, Facebook. Yeah, my tie is magenta. You know what? I, I love this color, magenta, fuchsia, uh, that deep Mexican pink. That, that Those shades. I love this, this kind of shades, by the way. One of my favorite colors. And, uh, well, let's, let's begin with our first topic. Today is going to be uh, a bit of a, of, of a mix, uh, of, of a mix of... A couple of topics that I was uh, finding out right now. Let me, let me take something here. Make sure that all right, everything is under control now. But this is something. Oh, let's start with this meme. Let's let's start with this meme right away. I, I was even fixing things and I was even copying and pasting memes as I was fixing this current live stream. Meghan Markle parody, queen of memes on Twitter, embracing the eerie enchantment of Halloween. And I hope you're all getting into the spirit too. Psst, I got Todger cream down here. Yes, I, I don't know if, the, if that's if that's Meghan uh, saying that or Harry saying that. Oh my God. And there's so, there's so much, uh, th all this free advertising. I should become uh, some kind of ambassador for... Elizabeth Arden as well. I'm I'm all, always mentioning Elizabeth Elizabeth Arden in all these uh, <laughs> programs, all these shows. Resting doll face, funny. I don't see Meghan Markle or or the sausages or our smell at the Soho Summit, Los Angeles. Barely two hours from home, she doesn't have to take a private jet to go to Los Angeles. I, I think she could. Maybe maybe she even could do that, but. No, no, she, she can go by car. And she, she did it a few days ago when she took that picture at that parking lot with uh, Jen Su. Uh, well, the full list in the Soho house, the Soho summit. Megan is nowhere to be found. And I'm, I, I wonder, why is this? Why is this happening since you know that Megan's love story was prominently feature in the dog shy mentory of Netflix. They, they mention Soho House a lot. She should be some kind of ambassador to so Soho House, but no, 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 nowhere to be found. And I guess that it comes down to the, the management. But I, I, I thought that Marcus Anderson, I'm going to look for that right now, Going to look for that. Um, it's the chief membership officer. Okay, it's the chief membership membership officer. He's the one who says who gets in and who doesn't. But it seems that he is not the one who decides who is featured in this events or not. So he has some power. Uh, let me if you refresh your memory about this guy. He has some power, but it uh, doesn't seem like he's got the power to call the shots in, in this event. There you have, and maybe we could say better times. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know that there's this nostalgia when you are thinking about other times and stuff, and you say, ah, oh, better times. What does better times? I think better times should be now, because we are alive. We are breathing. We are laughing. We're doing so many things. Oh, my God, another. This is, this is uh, like a, Thirsty picture, thirsty picture. What was he doing in this in, in this kind of shot? But why Marcus didn't vouch for his longtime friend Megan? Another picture here. You know that Megan when she was with this uh, emo face uh, with this uh, a heavy mascara and all the stuff. I don't know if that's that's the name. Yeah, but yes, but. We don't know what happened to that uh, friendship, but no, she's not. She's not anywhere to be seen. But 
I'm sure that she still has her membership card after all in that island that she went to meet a billionaire or a few billionaires. There's a Soho house in there. Again, I think this was mega number two or number three. We are currently at mega number 8.5. And that's, that's my approximate guess. But yes, nowhere to be found. Meg, why? What did this happen? And not nowhere. Let's see. Soho. So let me look for that right now so we can feature this while I read your comments. Wednesday, 1st November, uh, Hollywood Access. No, no. They make enough Oppenheimer Insiders preview of Oscars race. Uh, Tonya Davis, uh, hmm, no, I, th I think this this much more focused on uh, people that are actively working on movie production. I see that this is mainly movie production. No, 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 nothing else. So Megan doesn't cut it. That Megan doesn't make the cut in this because she's not producing anything at that moment and much less film. That is a big distinction. You have film on one side and you have a um, TV series in the other. But, but well, and I wanted to mention this as well, not that we have the topic of Archie and Lily uh, these days. This is also that we have been hearing uh, some time ago and it's sounding over and over again. Yeah, the this is not Mexican pink tie, but this is more like a magenta or fuchsia, but I love Mexican pink. I love Mexican. Oh, um, <laughs> JQ. Oh, talking about talking about this guy. He rides a bicycle with that, without the saddle. Oh, my God, JQ. I don't know. My finger slipped and I highlighted your comment. Oh my, I, I don't know what's happening to me today. But my finger slipped and I highlighted your comment. Any super chats that you send, I will be reading them. Every super chat at the end of this live stream. Prince Archie and Princess Lily won't be visiting royal family in UK anytime soon. And uh, that is not surprising because they, they are not visiting any place anytime soon from a long time ago. If you understand what I mean, we haven't seen... Um, the kids um, in 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 any way, uh, like 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 in forever exclusive. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle maybe raising their children. Prince Archie and Princess Lily in California, but the Duke appears to be keen to spend more time back in the UK. No, uh, no, Harry, your time has passed. Your time has passed, and I wanted to share the words, of my friend J. A. May, Duchess Marmalade. I was just saying to friends, I don't know how the duo can take a bitch vacation of a few days and leave a four-year-old at home. We spoke about how excited four-year-old children get for these adventures and how they understand everything. They are excited about the beach. They'll remind you which flavor of ice cream they want and insist you stop at the special store again like last time so they can get a good thing that they really need. Compare that experience for a four-year-old to a child left home at the Olive Garden with no parents present and the nannies change at the end of each shift. Archie and Lily are being robbed of a normal and rich and rich childhood. Yes, and by the way, it's, it's like this picture. I want to feature this picture one second. I'm going to go back to this tweet from, uh, from Mystified in a minute, but I want to go to this picture. Is anyway, do you think at the same time that th this would have been fun for Archie and Lily? No, right? No, not at all. But the problem is, is, is that, that I have been saying a couple times that uh, these headlines are the ones that highlight the hypocrisy of all this stuff. How Archie and Lily Beth inspired Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's next act exclusive. And no, I did not read that People magazine puff piece. I, I am not interested. I, I, I found it highly hi hypocritical that they keep talking about Archie and Lily and how they inspire 
them, how they inspire Megan, how Megan finds motherhood so, oh my God, the best job in the world. And where are the children? I mean, yes, it's it's like it's it's like I don't know if that it's like someone that brags that they can uh, uh, I don't know help you make money or something like that. One of those scams, and when you ask them why don't you apply, what you oh no no no, I'm just selling that. I, I don't apply that to myself. That that doesn't apply to me. And you say you go like, wait, it doesn't it it doesn't work this way. If you claim one thing, then at least you have to maybe live by it. If you want to be public with this kind of statements, how Archie and Lily inspired Meghan Markle. Oh, how great is motherhood. You're being public about your motherhood. You're mentioning it over and over again. It would make total sense from, um, well, every perspective to, you know, hang around with your children every once in a, in a while. Because why not? Because what's the matter? You are the one mentioning the topic, not us. As long as the headlines do not feature Archie and Lily, I don't mention them. That's at least that's for me. That's a royal rogue. But if you keep mentioning them, then all right, you say that you are a great cook. Uh, so show me some of your cooking. Some so show me something that you have prepared. That 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 just makes sense because is they say that. Actions speak louder than words. That's a thing that we were would be expecting if you say, "Hey, I I cook a great chocolate cake." All right, maybe uh, maybe you don't have Instagram. Okay, I can understand that. But send that to the daily abscess or the daily fail and show the I don't know. Maybe you can cook a, a chocolate cake, bake a chocolate cake, and send it to some charity and send your paps there. And they take pictures of your uh, homemade Monte Shit Show uh, uh, <laughs> chocolate cake. And yeah, you have everything in, in, in unison. But you cannot tell me and, be, and begin, you know, the children, the children, the children, if you don't show the goods. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if I'm being a bit hurtful like this, um, oh my God, all your comments, all your comments. I'm, I'm trusting on my. On my, I may my great moderators to block any sugars that could be offended by my words, but it's reality. Ah, GB News analysis: Prince Harry and Meghan Markle preparing for next wave of bitter royal feud. Preparing for next wave? You you, you mean like producing that way themselves, that like making that wave happen by themselves? I think that's that's what they that they what they mean with this. I'm I've been late lately. I've been tired looking at headlines. These people are really making my job a bit harder. Not Harry and Meghan. No, they they they're always material for trolling and memes and everything. But the mainstream media, I don't know what kind of game they are playing. Maybe maybe they are desperate. They want to keep their line editorial line but it is it is not it is not working and thanks to bark jack by the way we got this for megan this was a mirror that a whole mental health stuff was a mere outing in new york city fashion photo op notice who else paid to be a part of this publicity segment it's not by chance bark jack october 9 tweet proved true down to the details we see this for Megan, this is just, uh, you know, she wants to be the influencer, but if she wants to be the uh, philanthropist, but for philanthropy, you have you, you need the money, right? You need the money. Well, activist, no wait for activist. You have to get your hands dirty in the in the real stuff and the stuff that matters. I don't know. I, I'm running out of options here, Megan. Maybe you can. Maybe our smell can send me some kind of memo so I can understand what exactly do you do besides merging all your clothes in these events and asking people to just clap to whatever word salad you come up with on the fly. Because I, I can I can tell you, Megan, I used to think, I used to think that you were a good public speaker. But you have lost that 
for me. No, not anymore. You almost fooled us at that Fab Four Royal Foundation meeting when many people thought and gave you a chance to be the one to bring balance to the royal family. No, 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 no. You did not bring balance to the royal family. You came to destroy it. That's the truth. And I, I thought, I, I said that. I, I, I'm going to acknowledge. I'm going to own my words. As said, Meghan Markle is, well, a decent public speaker. Why not? She's, she's good at times at it. I say that. Not anymore. It's, it becomes boring because there's no substance. And that is the main thing. And I'm going to tell you why it becomes boring. It becomes boring when the person doesn't know about the subject matter. It is fascinating when someone knows about the subject matter because you see them passionate about it, passionate about, about talking about the subject, passionate about how can they change people's minds about certain topics. But no, you don't see it here. You see it just filling a void, filling a blank. And Steve Rosenbaum, founder of the Sustainable Media Center, believes that Meghan Markle is doing a great job branding herself. What do you think? Well, branding herself, I would like to know what exactly is Meghan's brand because nobody knows. You can ask that. It, it, it's like asking, what is the Royal Rogues brand? And that is easy to know. You come to my channel, you take a look at my channel, you instantly know what is the Royal Rogues brand. It's, it's easy. It's, it's the easiest thing in the world. You see one video of the Royal Rogue and you already know what is my stake. But what does Meghan do? What is Meghan about? Meghan Markle herself, like as me, Justine says, maybe. You see your... Oh, Marine, Marine, Megan mastered the art of turning word salad into a BS banquet. Oh my God, yes. I don't know if that word, if I, if that word is pronounced that way. Wait a second, I, I need to check. I'm sh I'm sure. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it the wrong way. Banquet, banquet, banquet. BS banquet. You know that I love alliterations, right? BS banquet. And how he demoted himself from spare to this one. Yes, it is words, no substance. Oh my God, some comments here that I cannot. Joe Ann Andrews, if Soho short from so, oh, oh my God, I cannot, I, I cannot highlight your comment, but you understood why, what Joe Ann said. Uh. I don't, I don't know what you say, Anana Mouse. It, is this one one ton? I, I don't get the joke. The joke just went over my head. I'm sorry about that. Yeah, she loves word salads. Uh, <laughs> I love the relationship of the Beckhams instead of the cult leader and her chump. No, the Please, uh, HRH Queen Angelita, you, you don't talk about cult leaders like that. Megan is not a cult leader. It, no, that that takes that takes a, a certain cunning intelligence. Being uh, she's got the malevolence, she's got that right. She's got well, very level up, but there's uh, she's not the right stuff. She's not got the right stuff. I I highly doubt it. And by the way. Talking about what she has and what she doesn't. I asked that question and I had many answers. Megan about to open her own line of Panama hats. Maybe that's what she's going to launch on November 1st. What would be the name of her brand? And I got seven, no, 700 answers on Twitter. On, on YouTube, it was like 500 answers, more, more like 1,000. 1,000 answers. And I'm sorry that I cannot feature. Uh, most of them for, you know, um, uh, this is a family channel and many of your answers were not suitable for a family channel. But these are some of the best ones before I tell you what, 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 which were my favorite ones. Pilot Harry, smart, not pretty. 48 Maltese, no, Nigerian owned. 
Bossy mother, that's some bad hat, Harry. Nice reference. I understood that reference, bossy mother. HRH Sophie, Duchess of Santa Barbara. Panamaniac, of course. Oh, that is that is catchy, Panamaniac. Genbot78, Megan's hat, uh, but with a typo. Uh, I don't want to feature this that much, but it's interesting. I love uh, Warplay. I'm going to try to feature this. Megan's hat, but there's a typo in there that I don't want to explain for, uh, you know, reasons. But Megan's hat, maybe we could do this design for that one. Maybe I could do or ask Mid Journey to do the design for Megan's hat. It's it's uh, very straightforward, right? And Nina, not Meg Rogue. I will sue Megan if she calls her Panama hats not Meg Rogue. Not Meg Rogue. But this was my favorite ones and the variations. Thanks, Denise Co. Shady Meg. Perfect. It's perfect. Shady Meg. Oh, I, I got myself a Shady Meg the other day. It's beautiful. I love it. I love my line of Shady Megs. And other accounts, of course, uh, came up with similar ideas, uh, like Green Rapper, Green Rapper, Shady Hats, Soho Shady, Shady Head, or just plain Shady. Uh, maybe. that. Uh, I, I think that Megan has this thing with uh, Archwell. Uh, maybe it could be Shady Well or Shady Well, but that could that could be the the name of the the brand, and this could be the model Shady Megs. The, the that that has a name that has like a that like the flagship, like like the iPhone, right? For Apple, that will be the Shady Megs for Shady Well from Megan trademark. Oh my God, I'm I'm I I know it, I know it. I am a genius of marketing. I the the Harkles should hire me, but they could not pay me enough for do the uh, that work. Oh my God, your <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, your comments. Oh my God, J E Megan thought her brand was the anti-monarchy new queen. Oh yeah, the queen. Shady Queen. Shady Queen. Shady Queen could be also be a nice one. I can write in here. Maybe I can write. Oh yes, I can write in here. Shady Queen! That that should be the that should be it. Shady Queen. Yeah, you know some of you have noticed that I have a, a, a running nose as of late. You see, it's the weather has been I've been under the weather let, lately. I'm trying to do my best. A shady Queen. A shady. It, it, it even fits Megan's image. Let, this, let me copy and paste here. Maybe have some space. Yeah, I have some space here. There you have it. There you have it. We, 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 just, we just made a, a brainstorming. Of Megan's Panama hat uh, brand, and you know, it, it will be nice if the Sugar Squad, such a squad or whatever whatever they are called, use their creativity for this kind of a stuff. But no, they are instead spending their time trying to make lousy photoshops of uh, William and Catherine. Thanks, fluffy Avenger Royal Expert. Looks at though. The Sausage Cult are photoshopping again, and you can see that they use the image of William and Catherine that are right here, right here. This is the original image, and this is an edited image that they try to create to look that they are somewhat angry or sad or something. Yeah, this is the kind of things. This is the kind of people that we are dealing with room temperature iq but no no we will we will persevere we will survive we were talking about this picture why I, yeah because mystified had something to say about this mystified so let me ask a question here if you were a billionaire and you were looking to get away for vacation would you choose a place that you saw a photo of megan markle walking around at 
I don't think you would, especially since you know she's on the hunt for a billionaire to grift off off. It's like an advertisement telling billionaires where to avoid. Yeah, it's yeah, the, the, the reverse meet us touch. The reverse meet us touch. Oh my god, dog boy, I'm going to feature the super chat. Your super chats are usually too mean, dog boy. Why are you like that? And why is that avatar? What is that? Why is that avatar? Oh my god, she's the most despised woman in the Western world. Uh, Jada Pinkett Smith is 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 taking care of that. I, I think I don't I don't know if you, if you had Amber Heard and Jada Pinkett Smith and Marian Markle, I I'm surely Jada is winning right now. Jada is winning right now. Although I, 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 I don't know. I, Maybe at some point I will make some kind of uh, mega poll with these three women to find out who is the ultimate narc. But uh, Megan is seriously, uh, Jada is seriously uh, winning now. And you can see the effect at the same time that Megan has had on Harry. Megan's mole, the lights may be on, but nobody is home. Harry looks fill in the blank while lecturing grieving parents on mental health. Yeah. Harry. Harry. Are you here? Harry, wake up. Harry, when I count to three, you will do exactly as a chicken. No. 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 Not even. The, the gray matter that doesn't even allow for hypnotizing. There's not, not enough. Not enough. Oh my God, I'm 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 truly mean today. I think it's the is the is the all the the pills for the the congestion. I'm sorry. We continue, and you know this mainstream media keep on calling Catherine Kate. Why do you do that? Mirror royal. You're not royal. The royal royal is royal. I'm more royal than you. The mirror. Kate's taking a break from royal duties and it's all down to her kids. Yeah, that is great. That, that, that is great. That is great news. And, oh my God, it has to be Tries Britannia to call them. It is their half-term break. My goodness, the headlines are so stupid. I agree with Tries Britannia. But, well, what can we do? What can we do about this? Thank you. I did a great chicken imitation. I, I can... I can imitate some animals. I have to, I have that. Do you remember that series from the 80s? Manimal? I don't know, it was like one or two seasons or something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> Harry's amygdala has short circuit. Overloaded the fuse board. That, that, is, that is nice, Coach Sandy. I, I agree. I think that is a clinical, uh, that, that is a good clinical assessment of what happened with Harry. Oh, so, so, um, other super chat. <laughs> oh my God. I love you, Royal Rogue. No, Megan is the GOAT. The, 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 the greatest of all time. Okay, the, the greatest of all time in the terms of the... She's the GOAT, the greatest narc of all time. Then that would be like the... Uh, the GNOAT. GNOAT. Greatest narc of all time. Hey, it could be. And by the way, today was the birthday of Mike Tindall. This was uh, great from Fifi. The will says Helen3030 on Twitter, making this a nice, very nice. Let me try to, uh, I'm going to try to make this a bit uh, larger for your pleasure because there are very many nice pictures in here. Nice pictures in here. There's another with the queen I, have, I haven't featured. A very nice feature, uh, photos here, thanks to Fifi and this picture, one here, right, right at the bottom with the Queen. Happy birthday to Mike Tindall, absolutely awesome guy. And I wanted to show this picture as well, thanks to Cambridge Power on Twitter. Um, I hadn't seen this picture in a while. I think it's one of the cutest pictures of William and Catherine, by the way. And Royal Whale says that this is one of, or her favorite picture of uh, of them. I agree. I agree uh, wholeheartedly. Libra, how many of you that are watching now are Libra? We are Libra now, right? 
Me libro now. Uh. Yeah, Miranda, I agree. William and Catherine have the right priorities. Yeah, they, they know how it's done. It's nice that William and Catherine have the right priorities. Let me see some of you. Uh, yeah, they say that the reverse media touch is called the setting touch. Uh, setting sounds a lot like the London mayor. I got in trouble by mentioned the London mayor the other day. Oh my God. I, I, by the way, I, I nuked my, my battle language guy, Twitter account again. Oh my God. I don't have, I don't want to have anything to do with politics. I always, I always say this and it always happened again. I begin talking about, but no, the, the world is going truly insane. We, we need more of this. I'm going to try to put this as, as big as I can. We need more of this. I think you will agree with me that the world is going bananas, completely bananas. Misinformation is something that I I, I, I think that's one of the things that I, I've been feeling like this uh, lately. Uh, we are going through that uh, 30 minutes. I'm going to take a, a couple more minutes to talk about this. I absolutely encourage you to mute, block, filter, all that stuff. It's okay. You can disconnect from the news. You are allowed. I, I give you permission to 100 disconnect yourself from the news and the media because most probably you cannot do anything about it. And there's so much misinformation and there's so much uh, claims that cannot be confirmed from one or the other side. You know that what I'm talking about that uh, and so many people, the, the problem is this, uh, so many people that I know personally and I respect their opinion and they are on both sides of that spectrum and they have completely different points of view and their points of view, both, both, both points of view make total sense. And I said, I, I, I don't know. I, I am in no place to say anything about this. So in this case, what I do for myself, for my mental health, is just withdraw from something that I just cannot have an opinion, an informed opinion. If that is something that you are also allowed, we should be allowed to not have an opinion. If you cannot form an informed opinion, just withdraw from the topic. I think it's much better to to uh, avoid at least until the smoke settles, if it uh, settles in the near future. And that's what I, I hope. So I, I'm sorry to bring this uh, topic, but I, I've i noticed so, how it affects me. I know how it affects my loved ones. And I know how it affects uh, so many of you in so many ways. And I know that some so many of you cannot just disconnect from the media for obvious reasons. Maybe you have family and friends uh, connected to this uh, to these events. But if you don't have it, if you are not directly connected to it, please disconnect yourself from that, at least for a couple of days or a couple of weeks uh, until, I don't know, it's my best recommendation. I'm going to tell you, uh, you know that Roger Rogue is no, not political in any way, but I always find the uh, feel the responsibility that I have to say these kind of things, not to make us stand or have an opinion about what's going on, but have a say of how you can digest or not be able to digest what is going. And I'm telling you, in all the time that I've been on the internet, all the time that I've been on Twitter since 2009 on and off, I haven't seen the levels of disinformation that we're witnessing right now. It's, it's um, yeah, and also, even if I can use, for example, artificial in intelligence for this kind of things, to have a little fun, to, you know that I make the disclosure, these images do not exist. But right now, I remember that I said that, uh, like, uh, like what, like two years ago, no, wait, I said that on 2020, 
I remember that I said that in 2020, before all this, uh, you know, AI explosion this year. I say that the most dangerous thing was when you could clone someone's voice. And we already have that. We already have very good voice cloning. We have um, AI that can produce any kind of uh, uh, footage or image. Uh, I myself have been, uh, I've worked, I haven't told you this, but I work with the special effects in, 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 uh, for indie mo movies. I work for special effects back in, uh, from 2002 to 2006, almost 2008. And um, yes, we made very crazy things that look very real. And if you add, you know, the noise of, uh, of footage of television or at night and all that kind of things, you can produce things that really do not exist. There's a very good movie, by the way, with Dustin Hoffman, I think. It's Whack the Dog. Did you watch that movie? You remember that movie? Whack the Dog. Walk the Dog with Robert De Niro as well, Woody Harrelson, Anne Hatch, Kristen Dunst, William H. Macy. Oh, I remember that movie. I should watch that movie again. I should watch that movie again. It's like, it's uh, this one. Oh, but it's people that, it's, uh, I remember this about uh, uh, a guy that creates a fake war. Okay, I'm not saying that I'm not saying that right now we're living through it, but it's interesting how someone could create now something uh, like this, and it it would be insane. And we are watching through insanity on social media. My advice is that please, uh, I don't know, rent your favorite rom com or your favorite comedy or something to laugh. That's that's why I do my best to bring you some laughs and some levity with this uh, uh, with this uh, live streams. Today was a bit all over the place. You know that sometimes I cannot uh, work to have the three topics and on point. Uh, today I didn't have three three topics. Today was all over the place, but I, I tried to add some laughs and try to make you smile because. We are in dire need of that. There's so so many content that uh, is it's sad and depressing in uh, in fiction, in TV shows and movies. It's better if we if we laugh, if we have a good time. And the problem is the problem is that even comedy is being under attack. You cannot say, uh, uh, make a joke about anything now because you're, you're being hurtful. You get canceled for the most stupid things. Uh, and that's one of the benefits that I will say that even if YouTube is censorship and stuff, no, YouTube is, it, I, I think I got, uh, I got what it takes to have uh, an ongoing uh, YouTube channel in this regard because I, I try to keep at least this channel family friendly. The battle language guy, I have many troubles with that, trying to f figure out what to do next. The Roger Rogue, family friendly, making you smile. Blind gossip. Who cares at all? Who cares about the blind gossip? We care about the blind gossip because that makes your us smile. That's that's how we come up with things like this and your answers and your and Megan's hat Megan's hat brand it's it's something that 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 we we should this it's it this is what it's all about wholesome content you know can't you imagine and it was like 3 weeks ago that i actually found out what wholesome meant I mean, how can I, how can I been learning English for 30 years, three decades, and not be aware of what wholesome means? C can you imagine that? Yeah, yeah. I, it's like my emo face as, as, as well. 
yeah, we need more wholesome content in our lives. We need more of this and we need more of your comments and uh, we need more of uh, everything that makes us smile. Yeah, Christine, much love uh, uh, and bliss. And that's that's why I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain why I say much love and bliss. I'm going to hide it at the end of this live stream right now. Why I say love and bliss. There are many things in life that are valuable to me. And um, love, because this, this I have told you before, I think we are here to learn how to love. To learn how to love ourselves and to, love, and to learn how to love each other. That's it. We are here just for that. It's that easy. It's no complication. Maybe at some point I will tell you more about my beliefs. Doesn't have to do anything with the Roger Rogue. Maybe in the uh, maybe at some point I will do a completely random live stream talk about that. But love, love is the answer. We need to love ourselves, love each other. That's why we are here. And the bliss is because yes, uh, laughing, joy, uh, being happy, sometimes are they have to be fleeting emotions. They need to be a fleeting emotions. Because you cannot be happy all the time. You're going to be laughing all the time. You're going to be joyful all the time. That is, uh, that is, uh, 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 it's, uh, that is not being, uh, it's not being realistic. It cannot be real. You cannot be happy and joyful all the time. But you can be blissful all the time. Something that is much more deep than joy is the origin of it you can be it's that part of being thankful is that part of saying even if in the face of uh things that and by the way i i had a, a meme about that i want to share with you even when things are going wrong even when things are not going well as uh as planned you can feel bliss because you know that you're in control. You feel that you're in control. I have to share with you this. Bye bye, Shady Queen. Hello, Louis. This is five. This is me five minutes after I log into filterless Twitter. No, I don't want this anymore. And if it's not the crazy events happening, is is this? It's it's all the Jada stuff. And I wanted to share with you this uh, this meme. Another meme here. It's nice. This live streams are nice because I can. No matter how hard your days, no matter how dark the skies, no matter how bleak the future may seem, might seem, remember that you are not Will Smith. That 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 should be enough to remember that you are blessed. You are not Will Smith. Maybe you can write it down in a piece of paper. I am not Will Smith, and every time you feel down or anxious or anything, you take it that, oh, I am not Will Smith. Oh my God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. You know, that that, that appeared on page six. Uh, Jada reveals she built a beautiful, oh my God, <sighs> horizontal mambo room for her and Will Smith. Why? Why do we have to know that? We don't, we don't need to know that. Please shut up, Jada. Shut up. Oh, as well. Oh, my God. Oh, my. <laughs> yes. My rogue is 40, 43 minutes. Uh, today was a, a strange live stream. There's no, there's no additional uh, videos today. But I wanted to share with you that gratitude. Yeah, uh, we should be. This is the fir first thing that we should feel and say. When we open our eyes in the morning, we open our eyes, we breathe deeply, and we are grateful for anything. You, you, you got, I don't know, both eyes, one eye, be grateful. You got your mouth to speak, to say whatever you want, be grateful. I, I have, have our hands, have our, our mind to make and enjoy memes. That, that's something to be grateful for. Okay. Being in the era of memes, it's something to be grateful about. I'm, I'm very grateful of this, and we can have such a good time sharing this moment. Oh, my God, who is Will Smith? 
Christina, I think you have been living under a rock. I I, I hope that is satire. Uh, I think it's satire. <laughs> I am not Will Smith. Maybe, maybe I should work, I should write a, a a book. I am not Will Smith. That would be nice. So many super chats. Uh, friends, Billiness. Princess Catherine was hounded by paparazzi early on, but you don't hear whining or victimhood from her. She knew what she was getting into. I agree. Annette Weber, in good old Joan Rivers tradition, way to go, Jesus Joan Rivers. How I miss that woman. How I miss Joan Rivers. Do you know that that is the kind of things, the kind of people. Joan Rivers is the kind of people that you don't, you don't really realize how valuable they are until they are not no longer with you. They are no longer here. And I'm I'm going to tell you, uh, there are many figures that I found, I really found value in so many things, not in everything that they said, but so many things that they said after they were gone. One example, I remember starting my body language guy journey was Kevin Samuels. Some of you know Kevin Samuels. Yeah, very outrageous guy. Sadly, he's not around anymore. Uh, very... Uh, sharp opinions about men and, 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 and women, some a bit too outrageous, some were just on point, very realistic, totally raw. Uh, yes, uh, I, I learned to value the things that he said after he passed away, that which should not be the case. Should We should be able to listen. I love your outro, Jesus. We all are in much needed love and bliss. We, we always need love and bliss. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? Jennifer. Harry looks like he has been studying with Biden. Oh my God. No, no words. No comments with that. No comments with that. Miranda, you're always lighting up my day, Royal Rogue. Much love and bliss to you and all the rogues. Thanks, Miranda, for your super chat. Annette, you're not only very funny, but inspirational too. It's good to have you, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Annette. Thank you. I can be, I, I sometimes can grow a bit frustrated with everything, as anyone can be. Uh, and I, I can be a bit hurtful at times. I can be a bit raw. I can be, uh, there's a word for that. I, I just miss it. Like, um, but I, I sometimes forget to be kind, not not only to myself, but other people. And I I forget that there's so much pain right now. Oh, we need we need to laugh. We need more wholesome content. George Carlin is another one, Yvonne. I agree, George Carlin, not here. And so many truths that that guy, truth bombs, right and left. Uh, <laughs> oh my god let me change this picture let, let's say goodbye with a with a wholesome picture wholesome picture we need a wholesome picture not this one maybe this one yes in the midst of all this crazy stuff that is going on this is our safe space this is our enjoying space this is our entertaining space today some of you got some of you got your wish. Some of you wish for a longer live stream. Here you had your live stream, your longer live stream. What about it? Yeah, sometimes it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. I don't care. I'm surprised that I'm rambling here and there's 1,500 Royal Rogues. Or almost 1,600 Royal 1,600 Royal Rogues right now watching. And that and that's something that I'm always thankful for. This space is made. Not by me. It's made by you, my rogues. And for that, I will be eternally grateful. My Roger rogues, my name is Jesus Enrique Rosas. I'm the Roger Rogue. And until we meet on another video or another live, remember the two most important words. Much love and bliss. Take care because I love every single one of you. Bye-bye.